do you... Oh, you missed that. You've had much better days, Petros. Stop laughing and bring the stick back. No, why should I? I hate cold water. Coward. You threw it in, so it's up to you to get it out again. Let's toss for it. No. You really are a hot head. Look here, Uzo. An old bottle. So what? Is there anything in it, at least? Looks like a note. Maybe it's a secret message or something. A message in a bottle? Come on, then. You're right, Uzo. It's a message in a bottle. Who's it from? Don't know. There's nothing on it except pictures. Pictures are better anyway. Hey! Hey! Where are you off to? What's wrong with Pedros? It looks like he's been uh, bitten by a tarantula. Has something happened? Have you seen a sea monster? No, oh, something much better. Message in a bottle. Cool. But it's a treasure map. Can't figure it out, though. Maybe you should turn the page around. No, doesn't look any better that way. Maybe it's not a treasure map after all. It's probably just some stupid scribblings. I'm sure. It's right. Forget it. Let's play something else. If I think just a little... Petros! Petros! Your mom's calling. Come on now. Time to eat. What's wrong with you? You look like you were caught in the rain. I found a message in a bottle. And that's why you're making that face? Isn't it exciting? Yes, yes but I just can't read it. Give it to me. Hmm. <laughs> I'm none the wiser either. Strange scribbling. And what if it means something? I suggest you sleep on it. Sometimes the best ideas come to you in sleep. <laughs> He's still studying that funny note. Has anything occurred to you in the meantime? Not yet, but I'm sure there's a secret message. Petrus is crazy. Let's go. Yeah, maybe catching. Well, if I get rich, I won't give you any. Let them go. Did you hear that? Ow, ow. Sounds like Grandpa. You dumb beast, let go! Ow! Get lost! Ow! Dumb beast! Ow! Get off of me! What's up, Grandpa? Look, this dumb crab actually bit me in the finger. That's right. Ha! Huh. Yeah, that's right. Just laugh. What note is that? I found it yesterday. It's a message in a bottle. But we can't read it, and the others say it's just stupid scribblings. Hmm. Well, let me see it. Hmm. Hmm. Can you figure anything out? Hmm. The signs are somehow familiar, but I can't seem to remember. Ah, time. Uh... Come on, try, Grandpa. I am now. Hmm. Where have I seen these signs like this before? In the newspaper? Rubbish. Must have been in some book. I'll figure it out. I've got it. Here's the book. Those are the exact same signs. All right. And next to them is what they mean in our language. Now, we can translate the pictures. Quicker, Grandpa. Yes, yes, don't rush me. Yes, that's... Mm-hmm. Petros, I think you've found something very special here. What is it? Come on out with it. I think you've discovered the way to Atlantis. Atlantis? What's that? Atlantis? Atlantis is a sunken city that people have been searching for for hundreds of years! A sunken city? You mean a city at the bottom of the sea? That's exactly what I mean! And there are people living there? I mean, if the message comes from the city, someone must have sent it. Exactly! 
Many people believe that there are people there, but nobody knows. It's been many hundreds of years since Atlantis went down. It's amazing. And this note tells us how to get to Atlantis? If I'm not wrong, yes. But what do you want to do in a sunken city? I don't want to go there. Then stay here. We must tell everybody and then get an expedition together. That's what we must do. Grandpa, could you read the message, but it's just the way to a sunken city? A sunken city? Unfortunately, I'd have preferred a real treasure. But a sunken city's fabulous. It's no joke. I'm absolutely certain. This plan will lead us to Atlantis. And you can tell from that that these are just silly scribblings. Really, I don't know, Grandpa. You've got yourself into something there, I really think. A message in a bottle is just a joke. It's okay for pictures to fall, but for you... You're not listening to me properly. Let me explain it to you in more detail. Now, be reasonable, Grandpa. You're making Pedro's quite crazy. Come on, everybody. Let's get back to work. I think Grandpa's going senile. Well, I mean, at his age. I'll give you senile. Just wait and see. Why don't they believe you, Grandpa? The only thing they believe is what they can see and touch. Shall we throw the note away? Hardly give me until tomorrow. Maybe I'll come up with something. Senile. Hmm. Well, we'll see about that. We'll see who's senile around here. <laughs> Have you come up with something, Grandpa? Oh, yes, but it's risky. <laughs> that doesn't sound bad. Let's wait and see. It's always been my dream to find Atlantis, and now with this plan, I'll never get a chance like this again. This doesn't sound good at all. What do you mean, Grandpa? What do you intend to do? That means I intend to go alone on the search without any help. But I found the plan. I'm going along. Are you really sure about that? As sure as can be. And what about me? You have to decide that for yourself. Now, on the spot? You can take your time, Uzo. We first have to make this boat seaworthy. Well, then there's hope yet. That'll never happen. Looks like new. Yeah, we did pretty well. Oops. Hmm. <laughs> I thought I'd been bitten by a crab again. So you're coming with us, Uzo? Don't have much choice. Can let you two go alone. Well now, nothing can go amiss. Off we go, due south. Grandpa, flying fish. Yes, isn't it great fun? Finally, a real journey by the sea. that sea. It's just a little storm. That's all. I'm a bit afraid, Grandpa. Oh, yes. The storm is not as small as I thought. Hang on tight. Oh! Oh! Ah! Ah! Oh, is it over, Grandpa? It's over. When do we get there? I've had enough. I feel sick. I'm afraid and thirsty. I want something to eat. Everything. Stop complaining, Uzo. What kind of a treasure hunter are you? Admit it. You are afraid too. Look at you. You're still green in the face.
Up ahead. The island. That's the island, just like the one on the map. You're right. They're ready to put into the shore. Thank God. Timbo, hey, Timbo, come over here. If not, there isn't a boat. What do they want here? There's nothing here except the two of us, of course. Maybe they're shipwrecked. They're actually coming ashore. Well, what about that? Come on, Judy. If the map is correct, we can start the search for Atlantis from here. Look there, wild animals, beasts. A polar bear on a sunny southern island. Hmm. So what? Even a polar bear needs a little warmth. At least I do. In Alaska, we used to live. Timu was always freezing and shivering. And I always had a cold, sneezing all the time. Like this. A chew! A chew! I can't believe it. No need to be afraid of that harmless. Huh? Harmless? The way you say it sounds like an insult. Rubbish. I'm also harmless. We consider it a compliment. I think the little guy there's nice. But what do you want on this desolate island? Are you shipwrecked? Can I help you? Are you injured? No, we're not shipwrecked. We're explorers. We want to discover the city of Atlantis. Atlantis? What's that supposed to be? It's supposed to be a sunken island, says Grandpa. I've never heard of a sunken city. Have you, Timbu? Hmm? Atlantis? No, in any way, it sounds like Antarctic, and that's much too cold. Maybe you've never heard of Atlantis because you haven't been here long enough. Well, we've been here for nearly three years now, but if you'd like, I can ask some of my friends in the sea. That would be nice of you. And while you're doing that, we'll look for a place to set up camp. It won't work over there on the left. That's where we live. Very well, we don't want to get in your way. We'll go and look over there on the right. See you later. For ages, have you been off traveling? Hmm? No, we were ill, not allowed out. That's what our mom said. And that, that. But now we will again. Let's play tag. Okay. Red crew. Who's been shipwrecked? Well, not really shipwrecked. They're looking for some sunken city named Atlantis. Have you ever heard of it? Hmm? Atlantis? No, our mom hasn't told us anything about it. And our dad didn't either. Oh, ask Carla. She's much older than us. Maybe she knows something. Good idea. I wanted to visit her anyway. Judy, that was fun. Very funny. Ha 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 ha. Now don't be so excited. What's up? Have you ever heard of Atlantis? Mm, Atlantis. 
Francis? What's that supposed to be? A city at the bottom of the sea. No such thing. Are you sure? Yes, I am, or I'd have discovered it long ago. Well, then, there's nothing to be done. What did you expect? Atlantis! Atlantis, the sunken city? Don't tell me you know where it is. No, no one knows that. Pity. My shipwreck friends will be sad, but if no one knows then, bye. See you later. Are you sure that you can swim in the sea with those things and not sink? That's what I said. Could I try it too? I'm sure you could. May I try it then? If you give them back to me afterwards. I promise. <laughs> Look, Petros. Looks good. <laughs> I don't believe it. You've dared go in the water. Good, I can even swim. And do any of your friends know Atlantis? Mm, I'm sorry, but none of them know about a sunken city. But I'm sure that Atlantis must be somewhere near here. What are they doing? The dolphins? Oh, just what they do every day, practicing the number for our summer festival. Looks hmm? like fun. Have you also asked them, Judy? No, I didn't meet them on my excursion. But you must ask them. Dolphins are the smartest animals in the world. Maybe they know something. That clever than what? Why, just the other day. Now, enough of that, Timbo. Judy, can you get them? Pleasure's mine. I'm Petrus. Grandpa says you're the smartest animals in the world. Your grandpa must be pretty smart himself to know that. He's right. I have an answer to any question. Big mouth. Do you know where Atlantis is? Atlantis? No. Is she? No one knows where Atlantis lies. Well, we have a map. It must be around here somewhere. Somewhere close. I can't imagine that, but let's see the plan. Yeah, it looks genuine. I'll check on it right now. Huh. Stop. That's our map. You're not swimming off like that alone. We're coming along. Oh, no. Do you expect to do that? Why? Jim Boo is right. We can't stay underwater that long. Exactly. You can't dive, nor can I, for that matter. If I try hard, I can stand the water for two minutes, but I suppose it's not enough. No way! But you're not a fish either. You're a mammal like all humans. How can you die for so long? I'm not allowed to say. It's a secret. Hey, that's not fair. We've shown you how to get to Atlantis, and you won't tell us how to stay underwater? Well, that's not fair. Petros is right there. I suppose so, but... How about a deal? Bobo, you promised to tell no one about the secret, Atlantis, and you two promised not to tell the dolphin's secret. Hmm, I don't like it. But then again, I'd love to find Atlantis. Okay, but only if you promise not to tell a single person. We promise. Can we begin now? Very well, if you want. What's wrong? Come on! You know, Petros, when I think about it, I'm not so sure about that diving. I don't think I'll make it anymore. But you're the one who wanted to find Atlantis. Yeah, you're right. But maybe I'm a bit too old to learn to dive properly. You can tell me all about it down to the smallest detail. What a pity. How about you, Uzo? No go. You can't dive with air wings, can you? No, absolutely impossible. So, it's just you, Petros. Just do a practice round.
no pay for us. You're improving every day. Our mom says you can dive almost as well as the dolphin. And that says so too. You think so? Yes, we do. It's time for you to test. <laughs> Help, I can't see a thing! Stay calm, Petros. Don't panic. It'll be over in a moment. Then you'll be able to see again. <laughs> Tala, stop the stupid pranks in future. Petros is new down here. You shouldn't frighten him. Mm. Our sense of humor, these air breathers. Can we continue? Yes, it's just when it suddenly got so dark, I lost track of above and below. I didn't know where I was. Well. It all turned out okay, but it's enough for today. Let's surface and take a good look at the map. Tomorrow we can start searching seriously again. Okay? Do you understand it exactly? At about 90 meters deep, there's a rock. And then, there, you have to go right. Okay, we understand. But then, lots of luck. And be careful! I can't believe that this will work. Crazy idea. How can we want to find a city underwater? Everything's still okay, Petros? Why not? Because we've never dived so deep before. According to my feeling, we must be almost 90 meters now. But I don't see a rock yet. Or have you found something? What are you looking for? A big rock. How about that now down there? Is that big enough? And how it is. What do you want down here? I've never seen you before. We're looking for Atlantis. Atlantis? There's no one here by that name. I'm Willie, by the way. And uh, that's Hubert, but Atlantis... No, doesn't live here. It's not a fish. It's a sunken city. A sunken city? Nothing like that here. A little further along, there's a sunken ship. Now, I know that. That's not it. Thanks anyway. Come, Petros, let's keep looking. Come here, Bobo. What's that? Hmm, looks like an entrance made out of coral. Wait, I'll take a look. Wait, you're crazy! Don't swim through there! Why not? It's much too dangerous. Whoever swims through there disappears forever. It's bewitched. Yes, it's the entrance to the underworld. The entrance to hell? Sounds interesting. Do you think what I think? I also think what you're thinking. Grandpa would be astounded. Hey, what's wrong with you two? They're crazy! Air breathers, what can you expect? We've discovered the entrance! Why, that's wonderful! Damn, I hope that you'd never find the entrance. Shut up, Uzo! Where's the entrance? There's a very secret spot. It looks like a doorway made out of coral. Yes! And the fish told us that no one who ever swam through it has ever come back again. The fish thinks that is the entrance to the underworld. Yes. But, and because Grandpa always says there is no hell, it must be the entrance to somewhere else. To Atlantis? Could be. But it might not be. Maybe there's a dangerous current behind it. Something like that and you die when you go through there. Exactly. Like the old fisherman, Jonas, who had caught up in the current and never came back out of it. Yes, yes, that's right. But you're saying, but I have an idea. I hope it's a good idea. I wouldn't go through there, no matter how good the idea. I don't have to, you silly old polar bear. No fighting now. Grandpa should tell us what occurred to him. Good. I suggest you take some seaweed and tie it around your waists. Then let your friends hold the other end. If there really is a strong current, they can pull you back. 
You're the smartest grandpa in the whole world. That's exactly what we'll do. Come on, Bobo. Take it easy. We must be properly rested. Well, try it tomorrow morning. For today. today we're going to find Atlantis. And Atlantis, what rubbish. Your brain is still clouded by my ink. Didn't think it would last that long. Leave them alone. They'll find out themselves. You again, are you still looking for your sunken city? Yes, and we think that the entrance is here behind these corals. You want to go through there? You dare and you never come out again, according to our mom. And our dad. We'll come back, you'll see. We have an idea. What do you want with that? We'll tie one end around our waist, and one of you must hold the other end. You're crazy, totally crazy. Yeah, you're full of it, kid. You're just scared that you can't hold us. Come, Pedros, we'll find someone stronger. That's right enough. We'll see about that. I can hold you two rag banks easy enough. Just hold your end of the seaweed in your mouth. And if we're not back in, say, ten minutes, pull us out. Okay, I can manage that. We swim to the surface and back. That's exactly ten minutes or so, our mom says. And our dad. I'm not changing my mind, you're totally crazy, but please. Bobo, wow, this here's Atlantis, wow. This is not the way we planned it. I want to go back into the sea. I don't, don't like it in this bathtub. A human, an earthling. My goodness, this is impossible. You see, it's not impossible. Grandpa was right, Atlantis does exist. You should never have found us. No human dare find us. It's a riddle. Without diving equipment, as far as I know, the humans know nothing about oxygen tanks. He must have fallen into our entrance by mistake. But how is that possible without any diving equipment? Robert showed me how to stay underwater for as long as I need. But you, Dothan, swore never to tell any human your secret. Ah, oh, well, they blackmailed me. Rubbish. We're not here by chance. We found you with this. Ha! Huh. But there's nothing to it. He's a wizard. Those are Atlantean letters, no doubt. And the map is exact. One of us must have written it. You're right. It was in a bottle that I found, and then... It is strictly forbidden to send a message to the surface. Who of you did? Who was it? It must have been someone. It was me. Jana, you. But why in the name of the devil? You know that we don't want any earthlings down here. Yeah, I know. But I was so curious. I wanted to know whether they are really so bad. And actually, he looks rather nice. So do you. Believe me, Jaina. The people from the Earth are not nice at all. 
They're always fighting, or worse yet, at war with one another. What's that? That? That's Ruby, my robot. Don't you have one at home? No. And who works the washing machine and cooks? Well, my mother does the cooking most of the time, although sometimes I try and help. And washing machine? What's that? You hear, Yana? He cooks himself. But you think I have to do everything for you. Maybe it's not so bad after all up there on the Earth. Do you have a TV or a computer or at least... I've no idea what you're talking about. You don't know what a television is? You can tell me that the Earthlings are that unbelievably backwards. May I show him everything? Seeing as he's here now, I don't suppose it could make any difference. Come on. By the way, what's your name? Petrus, and you? Yana. And I uh, call Robbie. Hey, Petrus, listen to me, Robbie. Why is no one interested in me? They all act as if I was some soulless tin can. And what about us? This bathtub is too small. I don't like it at all. What should I say? I can hardly move. I also want to see something of Atlantis. That Pedro should never have found us. We're in for some problems now. Oh my goodness, wow! Great, super, wow! Yeah, it's great. I believe you. I'm sure everything is very exciting, but I'm bored. Very bored. Me too. So cut it short. We want to get out of here. And it as soon as possible. And as quickly, as, quickly as, possible. as possible. I'd also like to go back to my grandpa. Not today, but maybe tomorrow. But, but that's not possible. Why not? It's forbidden. But. You mean I have to stay here forever? I'm not sure, but I believe so. We have to ask the others. Not necessary. They've been discussing for hours about what to do with then Petros. Come. Oh, there you are. We were just talking about you. Yana says I'm not allowed to return to Earth, but I want to so badly. It's a difficult decision, you see. You know our secret. It's absolutely impossible. We cannot allow Petros to return to Earth. But why don't you want us humans to know that about you? I mean, there's so much we could learn from you. And they could learn from you, too. How to cook, for example. Then I could have more free time. You wouldn't learn anything from us anyway. We stayed down here after a great flood because there was always trouble and war on Earth. If you people up there knew about us, sooner or later, you would destroy everything down here. And if I promise not to say anything, not to betray you, if I simply say the message in a bottle was rubbish? You'd let it out someday. Please, I'll swear any oaths you want not to betray you. I hope it's clear to you, Petrus, that you'll bring us all, including Jaina, into the greatest danger if you break your word. I would never do anything to harm Jaina. You should know that. Very well. What do you think? Should we let him go? I think we can yeah, risk yeah, yeah. it. Thank God. It's an impossible risk. It must should mean danger for me, too. But that doesn't interest you at all. I am worth nothing. All I am to you is a lump of tin. Rubbish, Robbie. Pedros wouldn't want anything to happen to you. Of course not, Robbie. You're my friend. But what about Grandpa? Am I not allowed to tell him anything? No way. You promised to tell no one, and that includes Grandpa. Pity.
I've been thinking about it all right. How do you intend to bring us to the surface? We can't go through the entrance, so we'll just be sucked down again. But it works with this. Wow, what is this great thing? Yeah, and I will bring you to just below the surface of the water. There's a spot there where there aren't any fish, so no one can see your arrival. And Willie and me, will it take us as well? No, just swim behind the two of them. Let's go all aboard. I hope we're not making a mistake. I'm certain they won't betray us. Bye, bye, you all. Come again, Petros. Did you find anything, Judy? No, no, no use yet. My friends are convinced that Petros and Bobo will never return. That stupid fat fish, why couldn't he hold the two of them? Exactly. Petros isn't that heavy. I could have held them for sure. I could have held them both easily. There's no point in waiting. We have to return to Greece. What do we tell Petros' mom? I don't know yet. I can hardly sleep all night when I think about it. Uh-oh, I wouldn't want to be in your skin. Come now, Udo. Let's get going. Yeah, there, there. Oh, what, are you crazy? What do you mean this there, 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 there? What is that? There, there. Hey, trolls. Thank God you're still here. I was afraid I'd have to swim home. What happened? Are you okay? Did you find Atlantis? Atlantis? No, I'm afraid there is no Atlantis. No? I knew it from the beginning. It was clear that there was only rubbish on that note. Mm, mm, mm. But where were you so long? Um, well, um... We visited friends of mine. Visited friends? And we were worried out of our minds. Have you ever heard the likes of it? And were they nice, these friends? Very nice, but they don't want us to talk about them. Hmm, I understand, Petros. And can we go home at last? Yes, let's just say goodbye. Already, you're back. Willie told me, and our mom, and our dad. I just disappear like that, visiting friends without telling anyone. You're right. I apologize. Is that all you have to say? I apologize. I'll stop. The main thing is that he's back in one piece. I wanted to say goodbye to you. Grandpa and Uzo are already waiting by the boat. Well, you pity, Pedro, but it was good to get to know you. Look after yourself. Yes, and lots of luck from our mom, too. And our dad. Bye-bye. Look after yourself, old friend. And remember, don't betray anyone. How could I forget that? I know. Maybe I'll come back someday. Bye. That was, that was a journey. journey. Bye. Bye. Are they angry or happy? Hard to tell. Probably both.
Petros, thank God, nothing happened to you. But if you ever do such a thing again... Did you find Atlantis? No, there's no such thing. Would have been too good to be true. So you finally admit it. Just think of what could have happened. Petrus mother's right. The next time you have another crazy idea, leave the children out of it. Stop scolding. It was a really great trip. Mm, depends on how you see it. You must be starving, Petrus. I'll make you your favorite dish. It'll be ready in one hour. Well, thank God your mother seems to have calmed down. Yes, she's really just happy to have me back. But I must speak to you about something. What? Could you help me build a new boat? The old one is a bit worse for wear. A new boat? What do you have planned? Well, well, uh, I would be able to visit Jana again. Ha! Huh? Jana! You know, Bobo's friend. <laughs> Well then, <laughs> let's begin work tomorrow.